Okay, conclusions on this new puller. Uh, I do like the puller. It does work, not always, with my first uh, hub. This was not machined down far enough for the set screw to fit in, so that limits its usage. It, uh, the impact design of this is pretty good for knocking things out, although this has an impact too because you simply hit the threaded rod, put it under tension, hit the threaded rod. It's, this one is far more versatile. It'll fit virtually any of the hubs where this has a limited number of hubs it'll fit. There aren't a whole lot of hubs out there, but this one didn't fit on at least one that I've played with. This one, I think this one has problems too. I haven't had it forever, but it's still, you know, the threads have been kind of tore up in the sides and I've had to replace one of the bolts with a larger one. So there's problems with this one too. I would guess these are too small. I would guess you're gonna have troubles with those. It may not, uh, in long-term use, there's no way I can tell about long-term use, little bit concerned about these because if you lose or break one of those uh, I don't know how you're going to get another bolt to replace it. I would prefer that this thing was made entirely from steel but I also would prefer this was made entirely from steel. Aluminum's not a great material for this. Just doesn't really hold up as well so I would I would have been happier if they'd done this out of steel. As with both of these things, there's no place to keep stuff like this and these. Okay, there is a positive on this one. Let me show you a little closer. They have put steel inserts into the aluminum. So chances are pretty good this is going to hold up better because the steel inserts are going to work better with, uh, with the set screws. The set screws are smaller than this one. This one uses like 3 eighths, uh, but even those weren't big enough for this one. One of the issues I have with virtually all these things is you're going to lose parts. Now I can screw these in here and they'll probably stay and I won't lose them, but these I'm going to have to tape these to this or something like that, same way as I did with this. I'll show you what I mean. This is how I'd recommend using these tools. You notice I had this tape before, that's taped off again, and I've actually taped these to this puller. Otherwise, you're going to lose the parts. Is this puller any good? It's not as versatile as this one. I think it'll be a little tougher because it performed pretty well on the uh, shaft that was tightened on the round uh, although it did damage the motor I think I don't know that this one would have uh, because this one doesn't actually push this down when you hammer it it's under tension and so it just breaks things loose so this one probably would not destroy the motor very possible if you have one hard to take off, it is going to destroy the motor. If the motor's no good, it's no problem. Would I put this in my toolbox? Yeah, yeah, I'd put it in there. I'd find uses for it. Uh, there are places where this one probably wouldn't work as well. And this one is a little harder to set up than this one is. So uh, I'd probably end up with both of them in the toolbox. This one would probably be the fastest to use. Anyway, that's the ATC puller. That's it on that one.